To turn on the machine, release the e-stop and check that the power indicator light is on. Next, check for correct facing by momentarily turning on the coolant pump. Make sure that the coolant pump is rotating clockwise. This is the main power indicator light. This is the two-speed motor switch. Turn the switch to the left for low speed and turn it to the right for high speed. Here is the down feed knob. This small pointer indicates a feed setting. These are your gear setting levers. This lever controls the high and low gear. And this lever controls up to 6 ranges depending on which gear is engaged. To unlock the arm, press and hold the unlock button until the top arrow matches the bottom black label as shown. Now, the arm is unlocked and free to move as needed. To lock the arm, press and hold the lock button until the top arrow matches the bottom red label as shown. To raise the arm, press and hold the up button, then release the button and wait for the arm to lock. To lower the arm, press and hold the down button, then release the button and wait for the arm to lock. Listen carefully for the clamping sound before operating the machine. This is the spindle on and off lever. Spindle forward and spindle reverse. Located on the front panel of the machine, this chart shows the different RPM settings for the spindle. We'll now demonstrate how to set the spindle in two different speeds. In the first example, we'll set the spindle speed to 88 RPM. And in the second example, we'll set it to 750 RPM. To set the spindle speed to 88 RPM, turn the motor speed switch to high. Switch the gear lever to low, then move the gear range lever to number 1. Turn on the spindle lever forward. Now, the spindle is running at 88 RPM. To set the spindle speed to 750 RPM, Turn the motor speed switch to low. Move the gear lever to the high gear position and then move the gear range lever to number 6. Turn on the spindle and now it's set to 750 RPM. When the feed trip lever is in this position, the spindle will not turn on because of a limit switch inside the gearbox. Turn the feed trip lever until you hear the limit switch click. Now you can safely turn on the spindle. To set the automatic downfeed, you must first release the engagement lever. Now, position the feed trip lever to the desired stop. Next, turn the collar until it's at zero. Once the collar is aligned, lock the engagement lever. Then, reposition the feed trip lever. Turn on the spindle and finally pull the feed trip lever as shown. 